Hi, this is Chad from CalculatingInvestor.com, and today I'd like to walk through a brief demo showing how to run the Fama French regression using R. Before we run the actual regression, I'd like to briefly review the regression equation. The left-hand side of this equation has our dependent variable, which in this case is the excess returns of the stock or fund that we're trying to figure out the Fama French factor loadings for. The right-hand side has the three Fama French factors, the RM minus RF, or market factor, the SMB, which is a size factor, and HML, which is a value factor. So we're going to compute the loadings on those three factors, and we're also going to calculate the alpha that the fund generates. So before we can actually run this regression in R, we need to create a data file which has the factor data and the fund return data. The factor data can be downloaded from the Kenneth French website, and I've included the URL for that site here. Um, when you get to that site, there's a link titled Fama French Factors, and if you click on that link and open that file up, it has the monthly factor return data as well as the annual factor return data going all the way back to 1926. So what I typically do is just copy that monthly data over the range that I want to run this regression for. Then in that same CSV file, we need to copy in the monthly fund or stock return data. And I have an example of that here. So this file has the three factors, the RMRF, the SMB, and HML factors. And it also has the risk-free rate of return. The final column here is the returns of the target fund. In this case, I've chosen Fidelity Magellan. So this column has the total returns for Fidelity Magellan. For all of these, I've chosen the returns from January of 2006 through December of 2010. So that's 60 months worth of data, which is probably about the minimum amount of data you should use to run this regression, at least if you're using monthly data. So before we save this file, it's real easy to paste this in here and make a mistake and get the data misaligned. And if the data of the fund and the factors um, is not aligned properly, you're going to run into problems running the regression. So I like to quickly check that the big up and down months for the RMRF factor match up with the big up and down months for the target fund. And when you have a well diversified fund like Fidelity Magellan, those big up and down months for the market and for the fund should match up pretty closely. So for example, if we go to October of 2008, we see that that was a very big down month for the market. And that was also a very big down month for Fidelity Magellan. We can also look at the three months in the beginning of 2009 when the market really started to recover, which was March, April, and May. We see that those are big up months for the RMRF factor, and we see that those same, th those same months are big up months for Fidelity Magellan. So it looks like everything's lined up properly, and we can go ahead and save this file. We want to do a Save As and select CSV as our file format. It's going to give us a couple warnings when we do this because we're losing some of the formatting and when it saves a CSV file, it only saves the active sheet. But all of that's okay. So now we have our data file. So the next step is to run the actual regression using R. I've shown the link where you can download R here. Um, R is available for Windows, Mac, or Linux and there's a very active online community using R, so it's easy to find help or to get questions answered. I've installed R on this machine, and as you can see here, I've set it up to launch in the demo directory, which is where I have the files for this demo stored. So go ahead and start that. I will change the GUI preferences to make the font a little bigger to make this easier to see in the demo. Okay. In R, we can run commands directly from the command line. For example, if I want to assign the variable A to the square root of 30, I can then see what's in A. I can take A squared. And you can do 
even much more complicated things obviously directly from the command line. But for this demo, since we're going to be running a number of commands, I've created a script file. Fama French Demo 1 is the name of the script. I'll post a link to this file on my website. And here we see the actual script file. All of the lines that begin with a pound are comment lines. So the first line, which is actually executed by R, is this read table function, which reads in the CSV file. Um, if you remember that CSV file, the first line of that file was a label for each column. So we don't want R to treat that first line as data. So we've specified header equals true. And then since it's a CSV file, the data fields are separated by a comma. So we have that specified in this command as well. So this line will read it, all the data from our spreadsheet into FF data. We can then extract each column for each of the individual factors and for the fund return. So the second column was the RMRF data. So we extract that here. Also, we can extract all the others using a similar command. Now, one last step before we run the regression. If you remember, the left-hand side of the Fama French regression equation had just the excess returns of the target fund. So this line here subtracts the monthly risk-free rate from the monthly fund returns. So instead of using the total fund returns, we're going to use the fund excess returns. So finally, the LM function, which is, I think LM stands for linear model, the LM function will run this regression. So we're going to regress fund.excess on the three Fama French factors, RMRF, SMB, and HML. We'll store those regression results in FF regression, and then the final line of our script prints a summary of those regression results. So let's go ahead and run this script runs very quickly. And here we have the results of the regression. So the intercept, or the alpha term, is minus 0.29% per month. So if we want to know what that is annualized, 12 minus 0.292. That is about minus 3.5% per year that Magellan underperformed over, under, over this five-year period after adjusting for the risk of these three factors. So the loading on the RMRF, this is also known as the beta of the fund, is 1.2. So the average stock has a beta of 1.0. So Fidelity is definitely tilted towards having more market risk than the average stock or the average fund. Um, the SMB loading, the small loading, is pretty small. So maybe there's a small tilt towards smaller stocks, but not a real large tilt there. And the HML factor is actually negative. And remember, HML is a value factor. So in the spectrum of value to growth, the negative HML factor says Fidelity Magellan is tilted towards growth stocks. So they're overweighting growth stocks relative to the market as a whole. So those are the regression results. Another thing to check quickly is the R squared. When we're working with a diversified fund, um, the R squared is typically pretty high. So it's 0.95 here, close to the maximum of one. That's a very high R squared. If you see a very small number here, that's another indication that something's wrong in the data or something's not aligned properly. So that concludes this demo. The slides for this demo are available at the URL I've shown here. Obviously, that's very long, so I will post a link to, this, to these slides on my website at www.calculatinginvestor.com and I will post all the other slides and data files, all the other scripts and data files for this demo as well.